Welcome, Welcome to, to our pre travel, travel day. day. For anyone who hasn't seen us before, I'm James. And I'm Ellie. And, and I'm Mum. <laughs> yeah, she's staying here to look after a cat while we're away. Lucky uh, She's already batted after her once or twice yes. already mm. with a dog. Sadie. Um, we're getting our stuff ready. We've packed nearly everything. Almost. We're almost there. And then we're going to head down to Heathrow. Yeah. These two want to give me something, a present of some sort. So I can open them and then we'll get going. Yeah. Barbie scooter. Your acrylics. Yeah, goodness. I told you it was bloody acrylics. This is from Hang me. On. This is from you? Yeah, because you've been amazing. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it's from me. Oh, yes. Yes, yes mate. Let me show them, let me show them. Oh, I was only talking about this the other week when watching Tim Tracker. Oh. Saying I really wanted this. No. Yay. <laughs> so, I don't know what view you've got that side of the box. Yeah. Got. Wow, that's, that's heavy, isn't it? For oh, nice! We I can't just... wait to build that. Thank you. That's right. We just need a little mantelpiece to put them up on, don't we? Really? Can't wait to build that and get back. I might build it while you're away. No, you bloody ain't. Because you <laughs> <laughs> yes. you've been amazing this year. Oh, thank you. This is from me and Georgia. Okay. So you deserve it this year. All right. That's really nicely that's... wrapped. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I love little wrapping paper as well. Oh, oh thank you. Savage, it's not, oh, it's not, so it's much. not Udi toilet. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you so much. Because oh. you deserve it this year. You've thank done you. a lot for LA. I've worked my ass off. I know. So thank you. Bloody holiday. And oh. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Covid thank kiss. You. So we're here on our way to Heathrow. We've got about twenty minutes left. Yeah, we haven't got long at all. Feels a little bit starting to feel a little bit real now. No, the only thing is, I don't know if anyone else gets this. We're we're sitting here, we've we've gone through it a couple of times together. But like you're saying, or oh, if you remember this, have you got that? Have you got that? Have I left this at home? Yeah. Like I've, I went I'm definitely got forgotten something. Yeah, I went on holiday once because I wear contact lenses. For anyone who doesn't know, if anyone's new is watching this, I um got on holiday, warm contacts, and then I was really? like, it's like, oh freaking hell! Like I completely forgot my glasses the whole trip. Mm. And it was annoying because I had to wear them to wear my glass, like the contacts the whole holiday, and it's a bit of a nightmare. See, so like your eyes strain and stuff like that. I don't think we have forgotten anything. I've literally, I think we've gone through everything a couple of times, so we should be all right. Okay, you've gone through it. I'm relying on you. Freaking, you're like <laughs> organising everything. I was gonna say, I don't recall you going through anything. No. I do a checklist, I'm quite sad like that. I'll do a checklist and then I'll only tick it off once I've actually packed it in the suitcase. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll get there and we'll be like, oh, we need it. There'll this, be something. We've actually got it. No, we've There'll probably got everything. One of the other things, um, it's just a little bit more stressful now. Yeah, but very obviously, good. we'll talk to you more about it on the travel day and tomorrow. But we're on our way. And we'll oh. show you the hotel when we get there. Oh, it's, we're staying at the Hilton Garden Inn yeah. at Terminal 2. Heathrow. We're looking forward to it because it'll be nice and it's all indoors as well so there's no going outdoors, cold. freezing your nuts off, walking to the airport because I'm going to be the one, people are going to be looking at me because I'll be the one wearing t-shirt and shorts because I'm going to a country that's cold. 35 degrees yeah. so I don't want to be wearing jeans and a jumper in a hot country No. and I sweat a lot as well and I, I overheat quick. No one, no one wants to see that. Oh, at least I'm So we but. will see you when we get to the hotel. Are they for eights and triple sevens? Oh, no, they're triple sevens. Yeah, they're not eights for eights. See, so much I haven't been in the plane for, I can't <laughs> even tell the difference. Oh my god, we're right near. That one's a mate for Oh man, I missed. Please, Bob. Just miss. They just miss going on a plane so much. Oh, I've taken for granted what it's like going on an aircraft. No. I really have. So we're here with our luggage. <laughs> we're at the car park. Look at Ellie. <laughs> You're not wearing anything under that, are you? <laughs> I forgot my phone. And also, we've forgotten how open it is at Heathrow because of the airfield and how cold. I'm just wearing a t shirt and oh this jumper, and it's like four degrees. So the bus stop is just over there. 
We're gonna wait for the bus which is coming around now. We get on to the airport because I do not want to sit out here any longer. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. We've just got into the Hilton Garden Inn. It's dark in here though. Um, look, here you go. So it's really dark in here. As you can see, you do have to wear masks in the hotel areas around here. Within 3002. Weather again? Is that again? 3002. Right, 3006. Nearly there. And my suitcase is having a mind of its own with its wings at the moment. Oh, will we? Do you reckon? A nice runway view. Here we go. On do the honors. It's been oh, cleaned. Sanitized. We're still going to sanitize it ourselves. Oh. oh, oh, very salty. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Oh, oh, wow. You can take a mask off in our room. So, this is the Hilton Garden Inn room. As you can see, it's just like a sort of premier inn room, isn't it? But obviously, oh, yeah. Way more, really, really nice. Let's see what views. Don't expect great views. Car park and a bridge. Oh, but hello. So this is. Let's have a look. Obviously, what's around here? You got cubby hog space. There's actually an iron in here. Loads of space probably to put your suitcase. Um, cubby hole drawers. No, it's dark in here. And here's your bathroom. This is nice, isn't it? Really nice. Look at that. Bin. Got your towels. Yeah, there's a couple of towels there for a shower. And, oh, it's just an actual nice standing shower. That's nice. Quite like that. I really wanted a bath. That's really nice. I really wanted a bath. I really wanted a bath. <laughs> Do you want a shower? I don't want a bath. I want a bath. I want a bath. You'll have to wait. You can have a bath when we get in the water and all of Um, Yeah, it's quite nice. This hotel room. This case, the wheels. One of them wheels are defunct. I swear to God, it was fighting with me up here, wasn't it? And do you want to do the honours? Go on. Oh, that looks oh. nice. Oh, it's nice. Ready for it's some nice. 17 and a half stone to land on that bed. <laughs> ready? <laughs> oh, God, we're miles in. Oh, this feels lovely already. It's comfy, isn't it? Oh, my God, it's so nice. So, so nice. But yeah. Big TV. And what we're going to do is, I think we're going to take a walk in the terminal first because it's quarter past four and it's dark already, but we're going to have a look to see what food we're going to get, aren't we? Yeah. Um, they do a restaurant down here. Oh, and they've got a QR code, so we've just got to scan the QR code. Oh, so we've got a little oh, safe as well. That's cool. That's I didn't notice good. that. Yeah, so you scan this and it tells you what services they've got at the hotel. Yeah, menu, all that kind of stuff, really. Okay. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So we're just going to declutter some of our stuff. And then, oh, I'm going to do a little, I've got some Dettol spray, so I'm just going to go around and I'm going to spray everything. Yeah, oh, we brought any back wipes with us as well, just in case. And obviously, where I've been touching bus handles, I need to wash my hands, I think, yeah. don't we? Woo woo! We're here! <laughs> Let's go! We're here! Oh, so we've sprayed everywhere in the room at the moment. <clears throat> with Dettol. We've coughed, we've literally done the bed, <laughs> pulled the bed sheets back, Spray sprayed with everything with this Dettol. This Brilliant is a spray, stuff. just your Dettol. You can use it on hard surfaces and on linen. Yeah. So I literally just spray everything. Yeah, and also one thing we didn't show you when we come and did the room tour was, I can't remember, tea coffee that we can have and we've got a little working fridge, which we've bought some stuff with us actually. Some juice, haven't we? Yeah, get the bag, we'll show them. We're obviously gonna eat this before Oh, some of the stuff's gonna though. Yeah, so. Just got some lemonade. Lemonade, Because we yeah. had Malibu. <laughs> we what was that? Yeah. <laughs> we some, some our own cups just to bring them in. Just some medical face masks. And then for breakfast, um, because we've got, we might have a little lounge tomorrow. So we'll get food in the lounge. So we didn't want to eat a big breakfast. So we've just got some croissants, 
breakfast. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Um, some cranberry juice. Yeah. And we can have some coffee. Oh, this is for our face mask, because obviously no one wants to smell horrible breath where you're wearing a face mask for X amount of hours. No. So that's what they're for. And then for the for the plane, we've got some Mervis Originals and some Leo the Lions. These yeah. are basically like Percy Pigs, but Aldi's version. Oh, they're awesome, isn't And they? they're veggie. Yep. Most important. What else we got in here? I've forgotten. We've got some nuts. Oh, they're nice too. I'll probably eat them tonight. <laughs> not We're not eating them. <laughs> no. Can't eat them. Just Aldi's peanut crunch things, what they like, toffee crisps. Yeah. The These are really good if anyone's not had them. That's it. Um, yeah. Just got some face wash. Pretty good idea, isn't it? So we're gonna go take a walk in a second, are we? Yes. Go to the terminal? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So uh We don't know, I'm not I've just looked at the menu as well for the restaurant here. Oh yeah, forgot about that. It's not that it's nice. A bit naff, really. Raw salmon. <clears throat> the only thing we would eat on the menu is fish and chips. There's no real vegetarian option. Yeah, I don't want to who comes to hotels to eat fish and chips? We had it Thursday night yeah, before no. we come, before we went to London, so. So we're gonna see, I don't know what they've got over the terminal, but I'm sure we're gonna show you what we've got. Yeah, of course we are. We're gonna there. vlog everything on here, because it's our memories as well, as I'm sure like you guys at home would love to see everything we do as well, which would be nice, wouldn't it? It'd be awesome. So, yeah, let's get ready. <coughs> so I've been holding that back. So <clears throat> potent. Potent. You can see this is the Apron restaurant. Which is very socially distanced tables in the Hilton Garden Inn. Which is very nice. It's not actually open until half five, so we've got to leave. Right, Ellie's excited. She's going to do a thing she's never done before. Do it. <laughs> I don't know. I was looking at the camera. I can do it though. Look. That was. That was a thing. That was a thing. Right, here we are going into the terminal to have a look at restaurants going on. That's the lounge we're going in tomorrow morning, but um, obviously not open at the moment. I hope it's going to be open tomorrow. So. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. So, we've never been in Heathrow before, so we haven't got a clue where we're going, have we, or anything? Right. Well, we have. We've flown from Heathrow once. Yeah, but that was five years ago. Yeah. So, it's a lot different. Hopefully, there is a few restaurants in here, because I'm starving. I'm starving. I don't know what I'm going to eat. This is all the rivals. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? It's all arrivals, doesn't help. We couldn't find so, any restaurants because it's arrivals here. Yeah, no, we found it, we're on the wrong floor. It's floor one's arrivals, floor five is departures, where all the restaurants and that are going to be. So, anyway, take two and we'll go find somewhere. Just a bit of wayfinding from terminal two. We have just come from down here, down the escalators. As you can see, this is where we were just walking a minute ago, along in here, trying to find a restaurant when departures is all up here. Hopefully there's something, because my belly's rumbling. A little bit of an update for you. We've had terminal a look around two. Terminal 2, but I think it might be a feasible option, Terminal 2. They've only got, um, like, <laughs> Yeah, so it'll be fish and so chips, pizza, or veggie bangers and mash, I guess. I think it'll be on burger. Yeah. But we're on this towards Terminal 3. We did, did say you? something, didn't we? Did you Look. imagine if they had these in Florida in the parks? It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh my God, you get so you? much more done in Florida with these around everywhere. But, but then, you'd get people just standing still and that would annoy you. Yeah, it would. And then you wouldn't get anywhere, would you, at all in Florida. Oh. So now we've got a seven minute walk. To the we've got terminal. A seven minute walk to Terminal 3. Oh, we won't take that long if we're on these all the time. Look, just go flying. So. It's not long. Grub. Yeah, um, me too. But I have, I have a very funny feeling. We're going to be heading back to Terminal Two and eating in Weatherspoon. Yeah, yeah, I've got a gut feeling. But I'll have fish and chips again. I'm not going to turn that down. Do you not have to be on no, I think I just have fish and chips. I think it can't be that burger we had. No, it's too good yesterday, wasn't it? If anyone hasn't seen that video, I'll put the link down below where we went to London and got a COVID test and announcing that we were going on holiday. Wouldn't we? Yeah. So we will catch up with you in a restaurant, I think. We did end up back in the Weatherspoons, like you didn't know. So we're just looking at the menu. We've had to fill in testing trays. You have to do it before you come in and eat at a table service restaurant. And you have to download the app, which you can order your food on, and pay on the app, can't you? Which is pretty good. And this is the menu that we currently have from. So 
I am bad. getting, it is quite bad, isn't it? I'm getting, um, it's a star, but it's not there. I'm having 11 inch garlic pizza bread with cheese. We're sharing this, so it's not just me eating this. Um, Ellie's, Ellie's having, yeah, loaded nachos. I'm having for a main oven baked cod fillet and chips. And Ellie doesn't know what you're having yet, do you? You need to choose. Well, I think yeah. while Ellie's trying to decide, we'll probably show you her meal when it comes. I'll oh, I'm for a drink. I've there. gone for a lucky like, corona. Go on, get it. We're going to have a couple of alcoholic beverages as well because it is our only holiday we've had this year, isn't it? That sounds nice though, pasta Alfredo. We can get what we want. Yeah. This is what she does. Every time we go in a restaurant, I pick <laughs> nice and easy really quick. And then it's like, oh, but this sounds nice, but that sounds nice, and that sounds really nice. Don't you? All the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'll get fish and chips. Okay. We have our food. Yeah. You don't actually have a lot of jalapeno, you do, the red. The only annoying thing is, is they've started cooking our mine. Which is like, I can bring it out now, or I can eat yeah, under a lamp. Yeah, so we've got to be like gannets and eat. But anyway, this is what we're eating. Oh, right, it's delicious. It's nice. There's a loaded nachos. With your nice apple yeah. spritz. Yeah, and this is my garlic pizza, which I have to cut myself. Um, and I've got a nice Corona beer to go with my dinner, which is really nice. I haven't had this in ages. Last time I had it was in Mexico and I got pissed on the golf course, didn't I? Do you remember that? Yeah. Mm. Delicious. Cheers. It is really nice, yeah, cheers. Is that a good olive, yeah? yeah. That's <laughs> funny. <weird. laughs> funny, isn't it? That's weird, you're not putting that in. Right, we better eat quick because our main's going to be getting cold, isn't it? Yeah. So we will actually show you our meal when it comes out, I think. Yeah, that's because it's cold. Yeah, if a man's a calm and a Weatherspoon's just come around at quarter past six and they've said they've closed their restaurant. So I don't know why they're closing so early at six o'clock actually. Yeah, it is a bit weird, but it's our fish and chips. They come in two little mini fish pies. I've just drowned it with vinegar and salt at the moment. It's cold. Is it? Mm -hmm. Cold? Yep. Well, it's been under a heat lamp, so we better get eating and we'll probably catch you back up in the room. We're back in our hotel room. Knackered. Yeah, actually, Weatherspoon closed early at six. Yeah. I think I said that earlier, but if not, you, you know again now. So apologies for that. Um, Quite stuffed from the meal. Yeah, we was going to go up to the... They've got like um. I don't actually know if it's open, to be fair, but here they've got like a sky, like a rooftop bar. Oh, in the hotel, yeah, but I don't but, know. I'm quite stuffed. I. and obviously being who anyone if anyone's not watching this from england we're in the tier systems you've got a tier one tier two tier three yeah i couldn't tell you what the rules are because they're so complex we're in tier two um so we ordered an alcoholic drink with a meal which yeah. you saw um as soon as we come to finish the meal they're like right i sit no more you can't order any more alcohol yeah because there was another guy sitting in front of us had a meal and he had like one drink after. But the manager come around to him and said, that's it. He's, that's it. He was like quite stern. He's like, no, you're not having any more alcohol, yeah. wasn't he? Um, Which is a bit annoying because I get there's the rules for a reason. But, but like, we, we did want another drink, didn't we? Yeah, so that weather spoon, they normally shut at 11 p.m. But because of all these restrictions, they're shutting at 6. I think they said because um, they've just not got like the foot, footfall. Yeah, so through the door. and also when we were in the terminal, there was no tourists in the terminal. No. It's basically people from other nationalities returning back home. Yeah, I think to the home countries. Actually, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's all like. If you think it's a one-way system. Um, yeah. Yeah, there was just no. It's really sad not it seeing. Sad. It's really sad. Tourists. Yeah. I really want the, the travel industry to come back up and boom because even where we're eating, we you could look at the runway. Even it's quite hard to see, but it maybe saw what a lot, two or three planes, a mm. whole hour and a bit. Yeah. Or something. It wasn't that much. So it's really sad to see. And obviously Heathrow have closed terminals three and four, so only two and five are open. Yeah. If anyone doesn't know, Heathrow do cargo from terminal one, so it's not a passenger terminal. It's really sad. Yeah. Like really, really sad. And I hope in the new year when vaccines are out and everything. It starts to go back to normal. It like bit. booms more. Mm. Really, yeah. really badly. So, yeah, it, And it hit, hits hard a little bit because I used to work in the travel industry. Obviously, I was made redundant. That's all I've ever known, travel. So it's hard to see 
not many people being able to work in the travel industry. Like, yeah. people love it. People love working in the travel industry. Yeah. I loved it. But, um, yeah, it's just sad to see that, you know, not many jobs are there anymore. No. Even yeah. in even in the the um, weather like the restaurant weather spoons that we were in, like three four people working that is overall. It. Literally, normally yeah. weather spoons have about ten or twelve, didn't they? Yeah. Where it's rammed so and bizarre. obviously, oh, I don't know if we mentioned, but the waiters don't come up to your table. You download the app and yeah. you order everything off your app. Your drinks, starters, mains, and you pay for it all on the app, and then they just come and bring it to you. And then when you finish, you can just leave. So you're not waiting to pay a bill or anything or like weather spoons anyway, you normally go up to a bar, order it and pay at the bar to someone and then you go collect your drinks, take it to your table. But obviously yeah, in this new weird, world it? it's very bizarre. You can't do it. But, but we uh, had we had a great day. Yeah, it's been putting brilliant. all that aside, we've had a great day. We've got a nice hotel room for the night. Yeah. yeah um we're just gonna relax now because we've had no sleep. Last night I was really excited for this. Yeah. So we're going and to like get the nights night. previous to that, we weren't, weren't sleeping because we were, were nervous about the COVID test we took in London. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, so we just need a good night's sleep. Yeah, and also for anyone who's new here, it doesn't know where we're going. We are going to the Maldives tomorrow, um, which will be next week's vlog, which is weird to say. Yeah. Um, we're flying with Emirates, and our flight's at twenty to two. And when we get to Mal in Mali. Mali in the Maldives, I don't know how you say it. It, it sounds like how it is. Um, it's five hours ahead, but the island we're going to is an extra hour ahead from Mali, which yeah. So we're going to be six hours ahead so of British time. So when we get to time. Mali tomorrow, tomorrow, no, it's we Monday. Get there Monday. When we get to Mali on Monday, we then have to get a seaplane transfer. Because basically, whatever island you're on, you either yeah. get a speedboat or you get a seaplane, depending on the location of the island. Yeah. So we've got our islands a bit further away, so we've got a seaplane transfer. Forty minutes. Forty minute flight. Yeah, which would be nice. It'd be an experience. So, yeah, we've never done anything like that. And we've before, seen so. videos of the pilots barefoot when operating the thing. So if we get that, I'm yeah showing their bare feet. <laughs> so but good. anyway, I think we're going to end it. Yeah, we're so sign off. just with that being said, this is going to be weird to say. Obviously, we're flying tomorrow, but our videos each day are going up weekly, and we're changing the schedule. So obviously, this video went up or is going to be up at six pm. We're going to premiere them yeah. so you can watch along with us, chat along with us as well. Um, so come join us next week which is weird because it's tomorrow it's, I can't get my head around it for our travel day yeah come yeah. join with us 6pm GMT which the video will be premiered to come watch with us and, and join we'll our see you next day. week yeah we'll see you next week on our travel day Ciao. or tomorrow bye